Okay, let's add and assemble our first few pieces. First, go to Common, and this is where you'll find common parts. First, the motor. You can see the motor appear there. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Next, let's add the connector pins. Now, this is important. This button here is the auto button. When you click this, the program will help you by automatically placing these parts. I select on the connector pin, and now I'm going to zoom in a little bit. If I move around, you can see I can place this pin in any one of these holes. And then I just click like that, and there our first pin is placed. Now again, using this auto button, let's place the other six pins. And each time I go back and I click on the connector, and there we go. Our six pins are now placed. Next, we need a beam. Now the beam we need is a 2 by 12. This measures 2 by 6. Not a problem. Let me show you how to do this. Again, we have auto. So I click on the beam. And now I just kind of hover in this area. And do you see how it wants to automatically snap into that area? You just got to kind of move it around a little bit. So I'm going to place it right here. And now, do you see these plus and minus signs? What that does is that allows me to make this plate either larger or smaller. So I'm going to go smaller here by hitting the negative sign. There you can see now it, there we go, that it is even with this end. But now I need to bring it out this way. So I'm going to select it again and hit the plus sign. I'm going to hit that plus sign until it equals. 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Oh, that may have done it. Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And there we have it. Our 12 by 2 beam. 